श्री स्वामीनारायण भगवान नी जय अक्षर पुरुषोत्तम महाराज नी जय प्रमुख स्वामी महाराज नी जय महंत स्वामी महाराज नी जय प्रमुख स्वामी महाराज शताब्दी महोत्सव नी जय वी आर करंटली स्टडिंग प्रमुख स्वामी महाराज जीवन चरित्र पार्ट वन नव दिस सेशन विल बी फोकसिंग ऑन असेसमेंट खे and the the topics that will be covered mainly swami shri's a uh, trip to africa and then to the uk the notes have been given in english and can be downloaded from the my baps app the notes have also been sectioned such that you can also listen to the tracks in gujarati if needed so we begin this session with k45 while the santos were in africa they were traveling in kampala and once while they were in kampala a sabha was once organized at the community hall of the patel samaj which was on the 21st of march 1970 it's very interesting to see a small note that swami shri made in his diary regarding this particular sabha and swami notes down in his diary swami says आज पटेल समाज में सभा बहु मोटी संख्या में हरिभक्त ने बीजो समाज डॉक्टर स्वामी प्रवचन सुंदर नीज अ जस्ट अ फ्यू लाइन्स इट्स जस्ट अ वेरी सीम्पल नोट अ वेरी स्मोल नोट इन हिज डायरी बट इट्स सेज अ लॉट अबाउट स्वामी श्री इट इज वेरी क्लियरली एविडेंट दैट डिस्पाइट हिज अन एंडिंग एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव वर्क ऑल द वर्क दैट स्वामी हेड टू डू द पदराम इज द विचरण he still made it made it a point and took time out to to listen to the katha not just listen to the katha but also listen very attentively to the katha and for many of us who have experienced or many of you who actually been with pramukh sai maharaj we know how sharp and how quick he is but also what a good listener he is we discussed this earlier as well but when listening to the katha when you have so many things going on but it says a lot about swami shri because in his uh, note he also notes down dr swami nu pravachan sundar hatu swami is actually enjoying this pravachan but at the same time swami takes time out or makes a special note of dr swami's pravachan something that uh, swami also very internally appreciated and made a note of it's uh, it reminds us of how yogi ji maharaj had once done something very similar when dr swami was still a yuvak <coughs> and traveling with yogi ji maharaj there was a time when uh, he must have written a letter when he was still studying he must have written a letter to yogi baba and yogi baba received the letter but he was so impressed with dr swami's handwriting so then he folded the letter and kept it in uh, in in the case of his glasses that he would keep with him and then when they met dr swami when he met raman bai dr swami's name was raman bai when he met raman bai immediately he pulled the letter out and he complimented dr swami saying ke tumara akshar bahut sara che you know i love your handwriting and then he asked uh, dr swami i mean he asked raman bhai he please bless me that my handwriting can also be just like yours so we see the humility in the sat purush and at the same time we see that uh, they never miss an opportunity to appreciate others let's move on to k46 So on the 23rd of March 1970 it was a remarkable day for the African Satsang Mandal because for the very first time they were going to celebrate a uh, full dol in the presence of the satpurush now this is a very unique experience and um, normally these events are always celebrated in India but to have this event being celebrated uh, normally Pramukh Sai Maharaj would always celebrate this festival in Sarangpur occasionally you know they would have trips else uh, celebrate um, full dol in other places as well i know once uh, swami was in leicester uh, in the early 90s and swami celebrated the full dol celebrations the full dol utsav in leicester as well so similarly for the hari bhaktas in africa very very fortunate to have an opportunity to celebrate the full dol utsav in the presence of the satpurush it was the first time this event took place abroad mahan sai maharaj and the other santos and yuvaks had prepared a, a beautifully decorated hindoro swings for puja yogi ji maharaj to sit on and so the sabha took place uh, during the day 
and everyone ended up sitting in the scorching sun, unfortunately. But Pramukh Sai Maharaj was very... Um, Pramukh Sai no mahima pan bukhub at that time. We can see what Pramukh Sai Maharaj states in his, uh, in his address, in his katha. Swami, she says, to have darshan of this great Purush, meaning Yogi Ji Maharaj, even if we have to stand in the heat for infinite births, births, it is still not enough. Yogi Baba on Atlubodho Mahima, ke gamme telo tadkama pan apne obhare upade, to pan ochu che, parantu awa sat purush na darshan kya thi apne mare. So we can see that Swami ne Yogi Ji Maharaj no kitlo bodo awo Mahima pan hato. After Swami Shri's address, the sadhus then um, walked in, walked into the sabha, and they had a small uh, a hat or a crown that was made of flowers, mugat banana wato. And so when they walked in, seeing this, Yogi Ji Maharaj realized straight away what they wanted to do. And he had a hunch that they wanted to put it on him. Yogi Ji Maharaj expressed his displeasure. He wasn't very happy, didn't want uh, such a crown being put on himself. And it's very interesting to see how Pramukh Swami very lovingly requested Yogi Ji Maharaj uh, to accept the crown. And, and then he said to Yogi Bapa, Bapa, Baddha ne raji karo. Now it's very uh, interesting to see this prasam because Many a time when Hari Bhaktos or Santos have tried to do this to Pramukh Sai Maharaj, similarly Swami Sri also expressed his uh, displeasure. But it's very interesting to see how when Swami was a Shishya or you know a disciple, at the same time he wants to honor and show love and affection towards his Guru in such a nice uh, loving way. And while Swami Sri was requesting Yogi Ji Maharaj, while they were still talking, some of the sadhus and Hari Bhaktos very quietly uh, placed the flower crown on Yogi Ji Maharaj's head. So this was a very unique darshan for everyone. Yogi Ji Maharaj was very quick to take it off as well. But still, it, momentarily, everybody had a very good opportunity to have this, uh, this darshan of Yogi Ji Maharaj. Let's move on to K47. Now that very evening of the full doll, a sabha had been organized at the Lohana Club. And Mohan Bhai Rathod, a very well-known satsangi architect from Mumbai, he spoke in the sabha. Now in his speech, he mentioned how Yogi Ji Maharaj was like a boat and a boat that would help across the help cross the ocean of the cycle of birth and death and how that we should all board this boat. However, very unfortunately, as he was on his way back to his seat, Mohan Bhai suddenly suffered a heart attack and he passed away in the Sabha. Now all this happened in the presence of Yogi Ji Maharaj and Swami Sri. Mohan Bhai's sons were, were still in India and so you know they were informed of this uh, tragedy via telegram and a phone call. Now Mohan Bhai had had a lot of affection for Pramukh Swami Maharaj and so at that time Yogi Ji Maharaj then guided Pramukh Swami Maharaj to uh, perform his light, last rites and that, that all took place the next morning. Mohan Bhai's wife had been with him on his tour and so arrangements her, were made for her return back to Mumbai so she could be, uh, she could join, rejoin her family members at that time. But throughout Mohan Bhai's final rites, Pramukh Sai Maharaj took care of all the arrangements as he was performing the, the rites, you know, just like he was performing the rites of a very close relative or a close friend. And this is something that we have seen throughout Pramukh Sai Maharaj's life. You know, for Pramukh Sai Maharaj, all the Hari Bhaktos were just just like his own family. And this incident does remind us of how Pramukh Sai Maharaj also did the funeral rites of Mani Bhai Bhatt, of CM Kaka, so many, so many other Hari Bhaktas like this, where Pramukh Sai Maharaj took all the interest and made sure that he took all the arrange, made all the arrangements for the final rites and the funeral uh, that, were, that needed to be performed. Eventually, on the 23rd of March, Yogi Ji Maharaj, Pramukh Sai Maharaj and some of the other sadhus, then they flew from Mwanza to Kampala in a 22-seater chartered plane. Now, the devotees of this city, you know, which was located on the shores of uh, the Great Lake Victoria, they all welcomed Yogi Ji Maharaj and Pramukh Sai Maharaj with great enthusiasm. And a very vibrant uh, welcome procession had uh, begun from the airport which continued all the way to the Sanatan Hindu Mandir. And eventually that's where the welcome sabha uh, took place. You know, the garlands and the felicitations, once all that was over, then Pramukh Sai Maharaj uh, delivered a speech to mark the occasion. 
the ac- the accommodation arrangements for yogi ji maharaj and all the sadhus were then arranged at ramu bhai morjariya's house let's move on to k48 now while yogi ji maharaj was in africa there were lots of requests uh, to have him visit london a lot of requests had come from london some of the hari bhaktos were also very uh, lovingly requesting yogi ji maharaj to come and visit london but every time the discussion was brought up the weather in london was a major concern especially due to yogi ji maharaj's health and even yogi ji maharaj had also voiced his uh, reservation saying you know what if the weather, what if the weather is not favorable and so the devotees would often reply to hari bhakt to yogi ji maharaj and say ke bapa it's all in yours it's all in your hands yogi bapa jitli vakat weather ni baat kare ke weather anukul nahi re to hari bhakt to te vakat yogi bapa ne wo kehta tha ke bapa ye to badu apna ch hath ma che however yogi ji maharaj would always bring up some concern or the other you know and so the program for the trip just could not be finalized in fact uh, once while they were in wanza there was an interesting conversation between pramukh sai maharaj uh, and yogi ji maharaj it was a very light hearted and somewhat uh, very funny conversation pramukh sai maharaj uh, he said to yogi ji maharaj ke man ma nakki karyu hoy to jau joye you know if we've already decided then we may as well just uh, go if you've decided in your mind then let's just go and yogi ji maharaj said pan man aplu pan aplu man chhe ne fartu rahe chhe aman thavu joye yogi baba also says but my mind but my mind keeps um, still wavering you know it should become steady but it keeps wavering uh, here and there and it was just very amusing for them to for all the people who were there to witness this conversation for yogi ji maharaj to saying yogi ji maharaj to say ke maru man pan avi rite phare che ane man aman thavu joye but again the banter between the two a very light hearted conversation between yogi ji maharaj and pramukh sai maharaj So then on the 3rd of April about 9 sadhus including Swami Sri Mohan Sai Maharaj Narayan Bhagat and some of the others they traveled to the city of uh, Musoma which is located about 150 miles away from Manza uh, Swami Sri was there as well and the other visiting santos also they blessed a sabha the satsang sabha there which continued till about um, 1 a.m. and then on the following day which is the 4th of april swami shri conducted padramnis at the homes of local devotees all day and then in the evening addressed another public sabha which was organized at the hindu mandir now this two day program in musoma witnessed swami shri blessing around 500 devotees and spiritual aspirants in the uh, in that area and then later on that that same evening pramukh sai maharaj and the group of sadhus then they returned back to manza Let's move on to K49. Now Yogi Ji Maharaj, Pramukh Sai Maharaj, and the group of santos, they travelled to Dar es Salaam from Wanza, and a motorcade procession of almost 200 cars escorted them to I K Patel's mansion. That is where they were going to stay. But again, very interesting to see how back in those days, you know, they had so many uh, cars as a huge motorcade procession. just to welcome yogi ji maharaj and pramukh sai maharaj into their into their city the hari bhaktas in dar es salaam made the most of the satsang lab in the presence of yogi ji maharaj pramukh sai maharaj and the santos and swami actually wrote in his daily journal uh, a note on the 12th of on the 10th of april and swami u lakhe che ke samas khub thayo janta e lab lido divaso thoda padya tem kehta khare kar जनता नो भाव जो रोकावा जो अगेन स्वामी राइट्स वेरी नाइसली अबाउट द फीलिंग्स दैट ही फेल्ट दैट द सत्संग प्रोग्रेस इन डार इस्लाम सीम्स वेरी गुड द लोकल्स आल्सो यू नो दे टू गुड लाब एंड स्वामी सेज दैट द डेज फेल्ट शोर्ट द हरी भक्त फेल्ट दैट यू नो दे डिन हैव इनफ टाइम ओवर देर एंड देन प्रमुख साई मारेज मेक्स अ वेरी नाइस नोट अबाउट the warmth and the hospitality of the hari bhaktos over there and swami says indeed looking at everyone's love and affection it felt like it was worth staying longer even pramukh sai maharaj wanted to stay longer so that says a lot about the warmth and the hari uh, warmth of the hari bhaktos uh, 
Then the group eventually made their way to Mombasa from Dar es Salaam. They went to Mombasa via, and they made a stop in Zanzibar. While they were in Mombasa, they also had an opportunity, the Hari Bhaktos had an opportunity to celebrate the birth and anniversary of Bhagwan Swami Narayan, which was celebrated with a lot of enthusiasm. And then later on, they also took the opportunity to celebrate Yogi Ji Maharaj's birth anniversary. Now this wasn't actually on the date, but it was a good opportunity to celebrate it in advance because Yogi Ji Maharaj was there as well. So on this occasion, Yogi Ji Maharaj was asked to sit on a Hindora with Swami Sri and Puja Mohan Sai Maharaj seated on either side. Hari Bhaktos had made a pag decorated with flowers and they requested Pramukh Sai Maharaj to place it on Yogi Ji Maharaj's head. Um, similar to uh, the previous session where we heard that you know Hari Bhaktos had also done the same thing in their centers as well. Now on the 3rd of May, a special youth sabha had been organized in the presence of Yogi Ji Maharaj. And Siti Patel, Siti Kaka, he read out a list of 22 youths who had expressed their willingness to become sadhus. Yogi Ji Maharaj was very delighted to hear this announcement because Yogi Ji Maharaj had seen so many young people, youths become sadhus uh, in the early years as well. And this was an ongoing thing. So it was very exciting, very uh, encouraging to hear this. Yogi Ji Maharaj gave all the yuvaks a dabbo on their backs. He patted their backs. This was very um, typical of Yogi Ji Maharaj when he showed uh, how happy he was with, with them. So Yogi Bapa with the dabbo marta. And you know, often Hari Bhaktos always remember this, uh, this gesture of Yogi Ji Maharaj. In fact, people would actually line up to, to get a pat on their back, to get a dabbo. And so many years later even, people would remember, Ke me Yogi Bapa no? Dabbo khadoto. So similarly, Yogi Ji Maharaj gave all these yuvaks a dabbo on their backs and inspired them with some very encouraging words. And Yogi Ji Maharaj said, Bhagwan Bhajsho, Sanskrit Shiksho, Pramukh Swamini Agnama Resho, To Sonana Thejasho. If you worship God and you study Sanskrit and follow Pramukh Swami's Agna, you will become as pure and precious as gold. Some very strong words coming from Yogi Ji Maharaj, but again, highlighting the greatness of Pramukh Sahi Maharaj. Now, during their stay in Mombasa, Chiman Bhai took Yogi Ji Maharaj and the sadhus to his studio for a photographic session. Photography session. He welcomed Yogi Ji Maharaj with a, with a garland of flowers and then he took a few pictures of Yogi Ji Maharaj with the garland around his neck. Yogi Ji Maharaj then saw Pramukh Sai Maharaj and then signaled to him and he called him closer. Tame har pero. Tame har pero ne? Yogi Ji Maharaj wanted to make sure that he kept Pramukh Sai Maharaj with him at all times. And they made sure that Pramukh Sai Maharaj also took on, you know, put on the, har, put on the garland and, and took pictures. Now it's interesting because Swami Sri was 29 years younger than Yogi Ji Maharaj. Yet Yogi Ji Maharaj always maintained so much respect for Pramukh Sai Maharaj. And he made sure that even Pramukh Sai Maharaj's pictures were taken with the garland. You know, many articles regarding Yogi Ji Maharaj's trip to Mombasa had been published in the English newspapers. Once while an article was being read to Yogi Ji Maharaj, someone read saying that while departing to his abode, Shastriji Maharaj had enunciated or had said, Yogi is me and I am Yogi. Now listening to this, Yogi Ji Maharaj said, Hakabai, did you hear that? Whatever the Mota Purush says turns out to be true. And so Harshad Bhai, he then asked Yogi Ji Maharaj that Shastri Ji Maharaj had asked you to keep this Narayan Swami, meaning this Pramukh Swami, in your drashti, didn't he? And Yogi Ji Maharaj said, yes. Yogi Ji Maharaj, you said, yes, Shastri Ji Maharaj 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 said, Yogi Ji Maharaj said, yes, Shastri Ji Maharaj had told me to talk to him about becoming a sadhu. Talk to Pramukh Swami Maharaj about becoming a sadhu. And then Yogi Ji Maharaj goes on to say that Shastri Ji Maharaj would place his hand on Pramukh Swami Maharaj's head and then he would take he would take my hand and he would make me place my hand 
on Pramukh Sai Maharaj's head as well. So Yogiji Maharaj remembered and reminisced some very nice incidences from the time of Shastaji Maharaj. During the trip, then they also celebrated the 16th Patotso for the Mombasa Mandir, which was which took place on the 8th of May. Now, taking into consideration Yogiji Maharaj's health, Pramukh Sai Maharaj was also asked to perform all the rituals of the Patotso ceremony. And then Yogiji Maharaj performed the final Arti. So, you know, we have seen this many times, even with Pramukh Sai Maharaj, that some of the rituals, earlier rituals would be performed by uh, the Sadguru Santos, many a time with Puja Mahan Sai Maharaj. And then Pramukh Sai Maharaj would come and perform the final Arti. So similarly, in uh, in Mombasa, when during the Patotso, Pramukh Sai Maharaj, you know, he performed all the rituals of the Patotso ceremony. And then Yogiji Maharaj did the final Arti. Two days later, they all left for Nairobi. And then from Nairobi, they went to Nakuru for a day and then back to Nairobi. Let's take a look at K51. Pela Ahi Betha. On the 19th of May, 1970, the Murti Pratishta ceremony of Shastaji Maharaj's Murti, which was carved from Italian marble, was going to be performed at the Nairobi Mandir. Now, during the ceremonial rituals, Swamishi performed the Murti's Pujan, which was then followed by an Abhishek with milk on that Murti. The Murti was then placed in the Sihasan, and Swamishi placed a Kanti around the neck. Then he placed a Janoi on the left shoulder and a Pag on Shastaji Maharaj's head. And then he covered a Gataryu around the shoulders and applied a Chanlo on the forehead of Shastaji Maharaj's newly consecrated Murti. Well, Yogiji Maharaj sat on a raised platform which was nearby the Sihasan and he thoroughly enjoyed uh, watching Pramukh Sai Maharaj perform the Pratishta ceremony of his beloved Guru. And Yogiji Maharaj and Pramukh Sai Maharaj, they performed the first Arti of Shastaji Maharaj. Yogiji Maharaj then blessed the Hari Bhaktas afterwards. And Yogiji Baba said, Kathiyawadma Shastaji Maharaj Pela na betha, ne ahi betha. Previously, the first Murti of Shastriji Maharaj had been installed in Medau. And then there was discussion of uh, installing the Murtis in Sarangpur and in Gondal. Yet before that could happen, uh, the first Murti was in, of Shastriji Maharaj abroad was installed in Nairobi. But it's very interesting to see how Pramukh Sai Maharaj must have been so excited uh, to do the Pratishta Vidhi of his beloved Guru. Must have been very, very overjoyed to have been, been able to do this kind of a Pratishta of his uh, Guru Shastaji Maharaj. And the Hari Bhaktas were also overjoyed with such a historic occasion. Let's move on to K52. Pramukh Swami Raji Tohu Bau Raji. Now the next stop from Nairobi was Kampala. And on the evening of the 22nd of May, several youths from Jinja and Kampala, they presented some performances in front of Yogiji Maharaj. This was all in Kampala. And um, as part of this cultural program, the band then performed a kirtan that was written by Tulsi Bhai. And the words were along the lines of, the words was the words that uh, were a part of the kirtan that were, uh, that the band was performing were, Awo yuoko tamne batau, meaning come youths, let me show you. Now Yogiji Maharaj was so impressed uh, with this presentation that he said, Ke Pramukh Swami Padramniye gaya che. Nahi to geet temne samdavat. Hawe kale Pramukh Swami Maharaj ne, Pramukh Swami ne samdavishu. Temne raji karishu. Pramukh Swami raji thai, to hu bau raji. So Yogi Ji Maharaj eo bolya, Ke Pramukh Swami Maharaj has left for Padramnis. You know, he was, he was not in the Sabha at that time. Otherwise, I would have made sure that he would have listened to this kirtan. Now we have to make sure that Pramukh Swami listens to this kirtan tomorrow. He will be very happy. And if Pramukh Swami is happy, then I am very happy. And the very next day, as per Yogiji Maharaj's wishes, the youth again presented the same marching song before Swami Shri. And when they did so, Yogiji Maharaj expressed his satisfaction. Now I am happy. The 23rd of May was the final day of the 108th day uh, yatra to Africa. Yogiji Maharaj and Pramukh Sai Maharaj then took a flight to London from Entebbe Airport. The flight uh, landed in London on the 23rd of May 
1970 at 4:55 p.m. Now this is a 4:55 p.m. Uh, British time, England in, time in England. Now this was again a very historic day for UK because this was the first time that the Satpurush was setting foot uh, on British soil, and a large number of Hari Bhaktas had gathered to welcome Yogiji Maharaj and Pramukh Sai Maharaj because this was their first visit. It's very noteworthy. The date again was the 23rd of May 1970. Yogiji Maharaj's accommodation had been arranged in Dolis Hill uh, at Arvind Bai Arvind Bai Guru's house and Pramukh Sai Maharaj and the other sadhus they stayed at uh, Chitranjan Bai uh, Chitranjan Bai's house Chitranjan Kaka che CP Kaka it was at his house which is in Wembley a welcome sabha of almost 500 hari bhaktas had been organized uh, the very next day at the church which was purchased in Islington which was soon to be transferred transformed into a mandir many many hari bhaktos will have very fond memories of yogi ji maharaj and pramukh sai maharaj's wish a uh, visit uh, this first time in 1970 uh, to the islington uh, church as well both yogi ji maharaj and pramukh sai maharaj they spoke in the welcome sabha and for the next 4 days satsang sabhas were organized at the methodist church hall in wembley pramukh sai maharaj did most of the padramnis on behalf of yogi ji maharaj because of yogi ji maharaj's fragile health his padramis were kept at a minimum but sometimes to fulfill the wishes of the hari bhaktos sometimes yogi ji maharaj would visit one or two houses and accept uh, invitations to take meals at their places let's move on to k53 sevano mitho mevo now this section covers a very very nice incident on how pramukh sai maharaj would take any opportunity to do any sort of seva now whenever there was a padramni where yogi ji maharaj was going to have lunch every time puja tyagwal of sami would get there in advance and manage the kitchen and the food preparation now normally yogi ji maharaj would reach the destination around 1 pm however for some some odd reason on that day yogi ji maharaj arrived a little early for lunch and pramukh sai maharaj was with him and as a result puja tyagwal sami ended up running back and forth from the kitchen to the dining area in order to get um, everything ready on time and he was frantically just trying to make sure that everything was ready on time things were a little bit delayed and pramukh sai maharaj immediately caught on to the situation and so he um, very willingly jumped in to help he told uh, puja tyag swami he told tyag swami to carry on with the preparations in the kitchen and in the meantime pramukh sai maharaj took care of all the other uh, setup arrangements you know setting out the bowls and everything else that needed to be laid out so swami shri then laid out the dishes the bowls the papers everything else that needed to be done he was very very quick to seize the opportunity to do this to do this kind of seva and obviously seeing pramukh sai maharaj engaged in seva so then everybody else jumped in very quickly to help out but simple acts like this left lasting impressions for puja tyagwal of sami even today sami always remembers uh, this incident let's move on to k54 abra pachi pramukh swami now this section details a very nice incident where yogi ji maharaj spoke very highly of pramukh sai maharaj to a journalist you know once while pramukh sai maharaj was out in padramnis he also stopped by at a local mandir for darshan now simultaneously at the same time a journalist named david from the sunday times had come to meet yogi ji maharaj and after some formal introductions were made david then asked yogi ji maharaj a few questions and one of the questions he asked was that presently the sampradaya runs because of you but what about after you and yogi ji maharaj was very quick to reply after me also it's our pramukh swami maharaj amara pachi pan apna pramukh swami to chej now this very brief answer may not have meant much for the journalist however for all the devotees who were present this was nothing short of a lifeline yogi ji maharaj had many many times revealed the greatness of pramukh sai maharaj and that pramukh sai maharaj would be the successor but again another incident which very clearly yogi ji maharaj uh, said this 
Now, during their stay in London, as this because this was the first time for all the sadhus in the UK, the local Hari Bhaktas also uh, wanted the santos to see London. And so on the 28th of May, the Hari Bhaktas arranged for a tour of the city. And uh, a, a bus was hired where all the santos and Pramukh Sai Maharaj were made to, to sit in the bus and they were given a tour. Yogiji Maharaj also joined the group, but he joined them separately in a car. And then halfway through, Yogiji Maharaj then returned to his residence a little earlier. However, Pramukh Sai Maharaj continued the rest of the tour with the other santos in London. This concludes today's session. Shri Swaminarayan Bhagavanani Jai.